Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Um, I decided to do this video just because uh, my work computer died on me. <laughs> and so they sent me a replacement. I'm a remote employee. And so I have the uh, pleasure of setting it up myself. I have uh, some RAM here that I'm going to upgrade it with that they sent. Uh, this is 32 gigs. Uh, this came with 16. I get to send back what's in it. Uh, but it's a Dell Latitude 5420, and it is perfect because it came at the same time that the Z13 came. So I thought I'd kind of do a comparison. I know they're not quite the same class of computer, but they're both business class computers. Uh, this one has an Intel. It has an AMD processor. I thought it'd be interesting to kind of compare the two against each other, if anybody's interested in seeing that. So uh, first thing we're going to do, like I do with all of my laptops, is open it up take a look at it inside so you get to join me in that i've already unscrewed the back three screws they are captive which is super nice they're all the same size phillips head here which is another bonus for me there are quite a few more than the lenovo it had five and so far this has one two three five six seven eight so three more screws not a big deal when it comes to something like this because you're not going to be in and out of this computer very much now the Lenovo is a 16 by 10, 13 inch screen. You didn't get to look at my hairy arm here. And this is just a 14 inch screen, 1920 by 1080, I believe. Let's see if I can get this just with my fingers. I may have to grab my tools here more than just a screwdriver sorry let's be a little off camera there we go. now the uh, first thing I'll notice is the Dell oh, dang it snap it back together <laughs> The Dell is uh, all plastic. There's no aluminum on here, unlike the Lenovo. Uh, like I said, it's not the same class of laptop, obviously. So uh, this was um, a lot cheaper. I don't know what my company paid for it, uh, but these are significantly cheaper. But taking a look at the inside, first things that we will notice is Instead of soldered memory, there is not just one, but two RAM slots. The wireless card is upgradable. There's another card slot here. I don't know if this is an NVMe or SSD slot or if it's for like, um, like it has a slot here for a SIM card. So for WAN, um, like if you want cell cell cellular, oh, can't say that word, um, data. I'm uh, guessing that's what it's for, but I don't know if you can throw a, a SSD in there. Here's the full-size SSD right here, it looks like. Yeah, that's what that is. So, let's go ahead and upgrade this memory since we're here. So, this right now already is winning in my book because it's cheaper. Um and has a upgradable storage, upgradable wireless card, and upgradable RAM. Now, as far as cooling goes, this does just have a single fan here and these heat pipes. So the heat pipes bring it and it does vent out the left side, which is my preferred side because I am right-handed. That means I use my mouse on the right-hand side. So venting out the right side means I have a cooked hand. Venting out the left side means that heat goes somewhere where my hands are not. So, interesting. I'll look and see if I can throw, I have a couple SSDs I could throw in there, but they're not currently wiped. I'd have to wipe it first. See if that works as an initial storage slot. I always appreciate that. Um, especially in something like this, I could run VMs in here because now I have 32 gigs of RAM, a Core i7. Um, honestly, I don't even know which Core i7. I just noticed the sticker is supposed to be a Core i5, so I'm not complaining. I'm get, I got an upgraded system 
uh, over my previous one. So uh, we'll get this up and going. We'll do some benchmarking on it. Nothing too crazy because, like I said, it's a work computer, so I can't put, like, games or anything on here. So not going to do that. But we'll do some benchmarking on here and see if it uh, how it performs, especially against that Lenovo. Anyways, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave that down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.